Well, we already did all the fun stuff, like getting ourselves a wife and school admissions, so probably all downhill from here. <laughs> yeah, she got in, though, for sure. It would be very inelegant if she didn't. First the family portrait falling, and now the bracelet. And now a black cat. At least it's not a zoo this time, like a whole zoo. Isn't this good luck, though? Like, there's multiple ways to read this. He takes things very seriously. Which is partly why that decision was so satisfying. I sort of made a mistake in the last episode. I was talking about how Lloyd should value her feelings over his career. That's understanding it. It's not career, right? Like, in his mind, it's world peace. But if anything, I makes that even more clear that it's the right choice. Which is not to say that his mission is not important. The show's basically telling us that it is, and Lloyd believes it is. But I think there's something so much more at stake, which was that moment that was in hand. You know, rather than this lofty sort of abstract goal. There's this child that is real and that we know and love deeply. And perhaps it's a mistake to compare which is more important, or to put it in comparative terms. What I do know is that not sticking up for Anya would have been terrible. First of all, for the reason that if you're someone like Lloyd, whose goal and genuine motivation is to be helpful to the world, how do you in good conscience turn your back on Anya in that moment? And secondly, at the very least, Lloyd felt like it was something good that he had to do, or good that he could do, that was literally in hand at the moment, that he had direct control over. And it's always really difficult for me to talk about these things because I feel like I'm always running the danger of slipping into this sort of goody two shoesism that is overly idealistic. But what makes me more convicted in it is the fact that it's not just me. You know, everybody watching, or most people watching, I'm guessing feel a huge surge of relief when Lloyd smashes the table. I believe if we all share a common feeling, then it's not something that we're coming up with abstractly. It is something rooted to our identities and is probably connected to some deeper meaning or truth about humanity and what is good. And the reason I get so focused on this again and again is, again, not to say that thinking about things practically or logically is not important. It's just that I feel like in my daily reality, I'm exposed to one way more than the other. You know, I'm exposed to this sort of cold rationalization increasingly more and more as opposed to this just genuine regard for humanity to the point where we get the reverse of sympathy. We get things that seem to me to be inhumane in regard to some sort of abstract mission, the source of which is often unknown, you know, it just sort of comes from the ether of societal consciousness and is possibly tainted with the motivations of other people who have disseminated a goal for their own selfish interests. Whereas Anya is sort of undeniable, right? Like she's a little girl looking up to her, her would-be family for something to believe in. So I love Lloyd for doing that. And not only that, I love Lloyd for not even regretting it for one second. I mean, he's concerned about the results, but at no point have I seen him second guess that decision, which speaks volumes about who he is in his character. Is that the code word for a success? No. What? No, no, no. There's, there's a catch. It's not there because they've been bumped up to a be better program for the most elegant students. That would be really interesting though if she didn't get in. Speaking of which, even though the show's sort of handing us the idea that this is essential to world peace, in real life that's a more dubious belief. And even more basic is the fact that their admission is not guaranteed, even if they were to cater to this jerk's whims. Imagine Lloyd didn't sign up for her and they also didn't get in. That is the absolute worst. You know, it's sort of, I, I guess I just have to take responsibility and say this is a personal outlook. That you, you grab the beauty that's in your hands first, because the rest is sort of not guaranteed. There's an overestimation, I think, in our ability to rationalize and control our own environments and our worlds. That's why the things that we actually can influence and the good that we can see is, is that much more important. It's like the one thing we can actually do. And it's because of the goodness in our hearts that we have no up upset. There is no upset in Spy X Family, because our hearts are pure. Mission 5, will they pass or fail? <laughs> What's the really? Did they really fail? No. But we also succeeded, because we have a beautiful, high-class family. <laughs> Let's go home to our saucers. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Lurking in the shadows, I see. Number one! Oh, she's waitlisted. Number one on the waiting list. All I gotta do is kill one of the applicants. I mean, hope for, hope for him to withdraw. Hope for him or her, him or her to withdraw. Mosquitoes? Hey! <laughs> Got it. Now this guy's just pulling for them. I feel like this opens up some <laughs> dark doors, <laughs> which they will not go down because they're beautiful people. This is a, like a weird thing that I sort of have to look the other way on. Just taking it for granted that she's a killer. This is a fantasy. This isn't happening. This wouldn't happen. Yeah. No. Let's not go there. As I said, dark roads. <laughs> Imagine Anya intuiting that thought. I see. Connections outrank. Yeah. 
Alright. You can blow up his car with him in it. My elegant boy. That's one time I want someone to say that to me. No one's ever called me elegant boy. 33 days later, oddly specific. Speaking of interview processes, because that's what this reaction series is about, apparently, one thing I've learned from experience is that all these protocols are, are kind of just a mask. Really, it's almost always going to come down to more subjective things, like what people feel about you and how much people like you. It's just that that's unsatisfying and makes you liable for things that go wrong. So you have to hide them behind admissions protocols or interview protocols or whatever it is. And those things will obviously carry weight. But at the end of the day, it's always going to be a human touch that supersedes that. So like, if they really wanted Anya in, if they really liked her, she's going to get it, depending on what other influences are out there. If there are people more powerful who are more concerned about the protocol, then she won't. But if the people who are in charge of the protocol or who are at the highest level of power do like her, they're going to subvert the protocol. That's how it's going to go 99% of the time. This idea became very clear to me once when I was teaching in China. And there was a teacher who up to that point had been paraded as like the epitome of teaching. Like she had everything perfect, perfect lesson plans, was super neat, always on time, etc. But got fired because the students didn't like her and therefore the parents didn't like her. And therefore the administration didn't like her. Whereas meanwhile, on the opposite end of the spectrum, there were a lot of people who didn't do things the way they're supposed to. Like they didn't dot their I's and cross their T's and were frequently being reprimanded for such things, but were obviously very valuable because they brought something more important and they were well liked. So this guy's just gunning for Anya. And I think actually Lloyd is who he's gunning for because he woke something up in him, some true natural feelings of elegance, which I feel is the correct response and speaks well of uh, Henderson or whatever his name is. The I will be accepted dance. The gods will be pleased. The admissions gods. Well, don't keep us in suspense, Lloyd. <laughs> hey, hell yeah. And it's great news. Hope she actually gets an education out of this. That'd be nice. Let's put Anya first, why don't we? And this also cements us as a family. <laughs> Thanks for bringing something for Anya, too. That's a nice gesture, no? From Frankie? Didn't have to do this. Is that a lobster? Bond man. Looks a lot like Lloyd. <laughs> What's to be continued? It seems like they're all wrapped up pretty nicely. <laughs> I like how Frank is on, on his side. Putting her first. We like that around here. I feel like you gotta do something nice for Anya, right? She did great. Frankie just became Anya's favorite family friend. Maybe he can be the godfather. The Sakura blossoms are blo blooming, yeah. I'm going to Disneyland. It's okay, it's all it's just taxpayer money. You can afford it. <laughs> She's still drinking. She goes hard, huh? Damn, this is actually a great reward. She's still going! Man, she's having a great night, huh? And gets wasted and gets in a plane. Goes to Disneyland. I guess she worked hard too. She's really <laughs> cherishing that bottle. <laughs> My kind of night. Waku waku indeed. Yahoo indeed. Damn, looking like a Disneyland version of Jurassic Park over here. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Hopefully it goes better for them. Well, you never know. It's really milking this. Give the man what he wants. I like the level of dedication they're giving to this Anya Day. She deserves it though. She's the best. She's a legend. The rewards of being great, I guess. People end up pulling for you. Do your job well. Yeah, but you can read all this from their brains. Impressive that he can talk and do more sweat at the same time. <laughs> Mama plays the drunk. <laughs> Man, these people are really, really dedicated to their work. Frankie's just loving this, of course. It's so great how, like, with the high stakes of this East versus West conflict and spies and assassins and psychics and stuff, this ends up just being a treatise on family and normal life 
and like employment. Speaking of it coming down to people liking you at work or whatever, this also rings true to me to a large extent. In jobs where I wasn't making people happy, I had very little freedom or no freedom at all. And it felt like I was dangling from a thread at all times. In jobs where I performed well, at least in terms of what people really wanted, it was actually valuable to the extent that it made me liked. I had a lot of freedom. There have been times where I've experienced a lot of leeway and special treatment in jobs to the point where it was a source of envy. And I think that's actually a thing that comes up a lot. Like people get a little bit confused, I think, about the priority. You know, you see people who sort of seem to coast and it's like, why are they coasting when I'm working my ass off? It means there's something intangible going on that's not about the work, probably. And while I don't think it's a great idea to give special treatment generally because of the atmosphere that creates, I do think that it is a smart thing to recognize that there's a little bit of a give and take. And if people are performing really well for you, then it benefits you to keep them happy, if that makes sense. So it feels right that these people who are wholly dedicated to their mission will go above and beyond for this request from Lloyd, who's their their ace. And beyond that, I think they probably just like him. You know, he seems like a very likable guy. It's also impressive that they managed to set this up in such a short time. Right. This is a real life scenario where you must save a princess by answering a quiz correctly. Oh, this is a father-daughter test. How much have you been paying attention? The interview shoes on the other foot now. Peanuts! Yeah! She talks about them all the time. I'm nervous. Peanuts! Again. <laughs> it's either peanuts or a silencer. A gun with a silencer. Peanuts. Peanuts. How was anyone supposed to get that? I'm getting a vicarious drunk from watching, watching your... The anticipation. It's a good look, though. It helps he looks just like the character. Might as well enjoy it. <laughs> I see this is not his first twisty slide. What is this theme park and how do I go to it? I like how he leaned into that scruffy thing as a villain line. <laughs> Oh, they, okay, they packed explosives as well. See, they took, they took the gloves off for this event. This just looks so much fun. <laughs> Yours just cracks me up in every frame. How much did this cost? <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> If this isn't a real thing, it needs to be. This game. <laughs> it's just the, the glee in her voice at this whole thing. We spared no expense. We have deemed this a worthy use of taxpayer funds <laughs> for the good of society, unironically. No, it's for Anya. That's really what it's about. Yeah, it's gonna be real hard, you know, just... A gentle shove might do it. Oh, is, does she get more powerful with alcohol? Is that one of her quirks? Ooh, I see we've, we've passed the fun drunk stage and gone to the mean drunk stage. <laughs> it's true, she might be more physically capable. Ooh, okay. I was going to say she might be more physically capable than him in a fight. She's 100% throwing up when she wakes up. And they put in a great show. This is gr greater than anyone could have ever expected or desired. And also it means so much more for Anya. There's a symbolic element. It's about her being supported, her having people she can rely on to take care of her. She hasn't had that, like, ever in her long four years of life. And it ends with fireworks, because why not? And everyone clapped at the end. <laughs> yes. Give me the wholesomeness. Frank, once again the unsung hero that no one appreciates. She also happens just to be really intelligent, it seems. You're meanwhile just knocked out somewhere. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm not the only one who thinks about it, but it's worth it. It's for Anya. <laughs> I mean, did you see the fireworks? It is a lot. They did a lot. They used all their staff, running out all of Disneyland. It doesn't matter because it's taxpayer money. <laughs> and because it's on his happiness at stake and she's the only thing that matters. She's more important than world peace and I'm not gonna listen to anything to the contrary. I'm not reading comments in this video because I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> the world will take care of itself. You know what I mean? It's up to us to take care of Anya.